What up, green kitties? I was doing a video and it cut off on me, so I don't know if it's gonna do the same thing. Hopefully it doesn't. Anyways, you guys stop yelling and stop playing. Um, what's up, you guys? So, um, I just sent out my first sale, the fire. You guys, I am a, a little bit tired, okay? But I, because I had to finish up the stuff this morning and it's all done. I already asked you to go in your room and stop. Did y'all not hear what I said? Zariah turned that down. Anyway, y'all, I just got done cooking. Go, go, let's right, go look in my room and get my cigarettes. He's the only one. It's a pack. Remember, you put it somewhere on my counter yesterday. Okay, well, look on my table by my bed. Anyway, y'all, my bad. So, anyways, I just got done with everything, you guys. I did try. I did do the uh, marijuana butter successfully. Um, and then I tried another way to do the honey. Because I think I told you guys last night that the honey did not turn right. Because I did it one way that they told me I couldn't do it that way. So, I remixed it and did it my way. And so far, it's so good. Um, I have packaged everything, um, put everything up. I had I got my little spoons and my forks and my napkins, and then I rolled them and put them in nice like little Ziploc bags so they can have napkins. You feel what I'm saying? Because when I went to Sam's Club, they did not have the salt, the pepper, the knife, and the napkins. They didn't have a package. So, and hand me my um, not my ashtray, but hand me my um, my my lip stuff and my drink, please. Thank you, daughter, and throw this away. Okay. Thank you. I got a new one, guys. This one is good, too. Y'all always see me drink that peach one. Well, they were out of it, so I, I'll take this one. Strawberry parfait. So delicious. I love it. I love anything Boathouse. Boathouse makes really good fruity, fruity things. Anyway, so... um. Today is the first day that the business went out. My husband has some sales at the barbershop, okay? Black-owned barbershop community. It's called Community Barbershop in, here in Las Vegas. So if you guys want to check it out, you should because he promotes black businesses. He prom he's promoting mine. He's You know what I mean? And I promote his, and I love that. So um, what I have here, what I'm going to show you guys is I have marijuana chicken and I have uh, Hennessy seafood boil. It's really good. I know what y'all think of Hennessy. Yeah, but it's really good, you guys. And then I have the marijuana butter seafood. So those are the three things that I have. I love the containers. They're actually big enough. Um, they seal my food really good. No matter how juicy it is, it seals it really well. And I'm really happy about it. Um, what would I do some things different? Yeah, you know, I told you guys yesterday was my first day of really preparing and putting my vision down. You know what I mean? It was in my head, and, and then when I got it down, I, I figured out okay, I'll do this, I'll do this, I'll do this. Yeah, huh? You have it on the card, yes. I didn't take anything off of it. Um, um, I was gonna say, so don't lose it. All right. Okay. okay. I'll make sure you guys subscribe. Okay. And make sure you. Huh? What'd you say? A copy of the ticket. I'm tired. I just finished everything. I'm tired. I'll find out later. Whatever. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Okay? If you like me, make sure you hit the like button because it brings people. It gives people over here. And I need people to go over here. Come over here so I can make a coin. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, it's definitely some things I would do differently. Um, and I'll tell you guys each step of what I would have did differently. Um, I definitely would have, um, when it comes to the food, um, I would probably put it in a bag next time. I don't mind boiling everything separately, but, um, as far as my flavors and combining it, 
Um, I like for it to marriage a little bit better. And I believe when you put it in the oven, when you oven bake it, I think that it will really marry like way better than it married now. It married, but I I like I like the oven baked better. That's just my preference. And I wanna sell that like that. So I would definitely do that different um instead of on the stove. Um the second thing I would have did differently is I did not use chicken or shrimp not shrimp, chicken and potatoes. Um some people in their boil they do chicken, they do shrimp I'm not chicken the shrimp they do chicken they do broccoli they do boiled egg um they do so many things you know what i'm saying i did not do that um i did lobster i did crab i did corn sausage and shrimp i did not do potato um because i thought it was gonna be time consuming and i thought i really didn't need it but i do so next time i will definitely put a put potato that will definitely have to go in there it's just it has to um i don't know if i'm going to throw egg in there because a lot of people don't like egg me i love egg and i love egg in a boil oh my god and i like broccoli in a boil you know what i'm saying but that's just me so i kind of made it um i didn't want to put too much because i already got alcohol in it i already got marijuana in certain you know certain certain ones so i didn't want to put too much of you know some make their stomach hurt i didn't want to do that so i just have the basic things in there but i definitely would put definitely add potatoes in my in it next time for sure every time i sell it i'm definitely going to put a potato it's so necessary to me um what else i would have did differently um that's it everything else i believe i did well all right, so I'm going to show you guys what it is it looks like. And you guys be honest, okay? Um, the only way that I can get better is if you guys tell me the truth, you know what I mean? It's not what you say, it's how you say it, you feel me? But I'm a big bitch, so it doesn't matter how you say it. Either I'm, I'm going to cuss you out if, if you go left. And if you keep it straight, then we good, you feel me? So, but definitely, um, I could take criticism, okay? So, number one, I love the tops. The hefty tops. I love these tops. I chose not to go cheap and use. This is mine, y'all. So don't don't trip. I'm like, why are you talking over it? This one is mine. But um, for all you bitches in the back, that's a hater. This is my plate. Anyway, um, I like the hefty uh, top because it really secured the juice and everything. I love this. I thought it was gonna be too small, but it's really not. I'm like, I'm happy with this. I'm gonna show you guys what this is right here okay so what i have here is corn i have snow crab i have king crab i have sausage shrimp and this one is mine like i said but they all look like this the only time they look different and this is the marijuana one and this it, it has all marijuana butter and you can smell it and you can taste it and it's pretty good and it gets you a little bit high um everybody that smokes marijuana that have tasted it was like yeah you get a nice little head buzz so this one does not have marijuana in it not this one but the marijuana would look just like this. it looked just like this y'all except i didn't put um marijuana butter okay in mine because y'all know i don't smoke so anyways that's that this one is mine and i have many more so those over there are the liquor these are the marijuana and then i'm going to show you more so hold up that's parsley y'all that ain't weed all right so hopefully it look good to you guys um i also have some in here that has a uh, lobster let me show you the chicken now when it comes to the chicken and the fries i'm going to do better with the chicken and the fries um i didn't have any fries so i had to have my best friend go run to the store and get fries because i needed something else to go with this meal um yeah so um i'm not the fries taste good because I seasoned them with ranch dressing and lemon pepper dress, uh, seasoning. So, and, and, and ranch seasoning. So my fries are good, you know what I mean? But I, they're not, they're not my favorite, okay? But everything else I'm happy with. So again, I love the sturdiness and this plate is mine. I'm only showing you guys what, what's mine. I love the sturdiness of it and all of that. Um, so because this one is mine it doesn't have parsley on it see these are the fries um i would probably do better fries than these but this is for right now but it definitely it definitely have the seasons um the ranch seasoning the lemon pepper seasoning and all that and these are the honey glaze marijuana 
fried chicken wings so um i fried them twice i like the way they are they're crispy um and they're sticky and good and i'm just in love with them you guys um they taste really really good now like i said this one does not have marijuana because this is my plate but they look just the same there is no different all of them look the same but this is mine without marijuana but they all look the same okay and i have a couple over there okay now i'm going to go over there to the liquor so hold on but i wanted to show you guys mine you know so um but it looks just like it. i don't want to open it up and talk over you know what i mean the ones i'm selling so you guys get the goddamn hint so this is how big it is and, and it's ten dollars and i know you're like damn ten dollars and the reason why it's ten dollars is because i got marijuana in here and it's strong okay and if they can sell ten dollar brownies why the hell i can't sell a uh, chicken and fries it's a whole meal this is this is a snack pack at kfc stop playing with me popeye same thing don't play with me and they ain't got marijuana in that shit anyway but steroids stop don't play with me i ain't one of them <laughs> okay so and i um i priced it out how it goes oh all righty um this one isn't mine oh hold on y'all my back hurt what i realized was i'm gonna tell y'all what i realized i'm only getting mine here we go yeah this is mine oh Again, I like the hefty pay. All of them are full like this. The seafoods are full. My chicken is not full to capacity. And the reason why my chicken is not full because I only got two packs of chicken because I really wasn't sure if I was going to do the chicken or not. So next time, so everybody got three pieces. So the next time I'll get a couple of more and I'll do four pieces and some fries or something like that. I'll probably do onion rings um, and fries. Um yeah so i had to work with what i had so everybody got three pieces but they wasn't able to get four so it's kind of short but it got it's it's fuck it but all my seafood ones are full like this now this is the remy not hennessy remy as vsop remy seafood boil okay i did the sauce really really good you guys you can you can taste it but it tastes good even the aftertaste it tastes really really good okay now as far as it gets you drunk i don't know that's not my business okay i'm gonna all right now this one like i said does not have alcohol in it because i don't drink but they all look like this i just want to give you an idea okay this one have been done for quite a while so that's why it's kind of stuck together but this is the king crab right here shrimp corn um sauce uh shrimp corn shrimp is right there queen crab is right there snow crab corn sausages they're all there okay they're all there all right this one is mine this, they're all there and that is the sauce now this is just some regular good my good good sauce y'all that's just my regular good sauce and that's garlic and all that so that's that um i like mine's kind of well done so that's how i did mine's okay um so i wanted to show you guys my plate but all the plates look like this they look a little bit different far as the sauce it's more sauce because it's the the liquor uh, mine don't have a lot of it has none no liquor in it so it's just like a regular garlic butter and all that so it's just like that much because it was just me i was making it for me and my kids um my husband and my best friend they had the other one so i just made a little sauce for me but theirs is um the sauce is about this much because you need sauce so the sauce is about this much and then they their plate is full like this some of them have lobster tails as well as crab um i had eight lobsters so everybody you know i just put lobster in different ones and they're going to be the same price as well okay so some people have shrimp crab lobster and all that this is my plate and this is what it is okay um and it seals so good and this is the well this isn't the hennessy one but this is um this would be what the Hennessy was. So that's what our, our v, Remy, not the Hennessy, the Remy. So anyway, guys, so that's what I got going on. Um, I've been doing it for quite a minute now. I'm tired as hell, um, for real, for real. And so my husband, oh, and then these are my, oh, no, he took it. I had um, 
the um remember those little shot things we went and got ice and i put soda and water and he put those things in the um in the ice chest or whatever but he took the ice chest with him and i got one hot bag but anyways he put the, he took the ice chest with him because he's going to the barber shop and he said you know he'll try to sell the um little shots or whatever um and if they get you know a meal in a shot then of course they get a discount you know what i mean so we'll see how it go i prayed over it i prayed over it before it left And we'll see how it go. <clears throat> this is how I feel, y'all. If it go well, I'm happy. If it doesn't go well, I'm still okay. Because I know who is my source. I know that whenever he's wanting me to have something or whenever I need to move positions... He's going to move me. I won't be delayed, missed out, um, nothing. You get what I'm saying? So that's beautiful when you know you got a great relationship with the Lord. That's why people, you know, Holy Nation, you guys have a good a good relationship with the Lord. So you won't be nervous and worried like, oh, my God, what if these people don't buy all this food? I just bought this and all that. Uh-uh, my brain didn't even come to that. My brain only said, I hope everyone likes it. You know what I'm saying? That's all. As far as anything else, if this isn't for me, then this isn't for me. But guess what? It's 999999 things in the world. I, You know what I mean? And God got my my back. So I just got to find what worked for me. You know what I mean? And don't be mad on what don't. Everything that I wanted and that God didn't give me, <coughs> in that moment, I was mad. <coughs> I look back and I'm like, oh, Lord, thank you. I'm so happy you didn't get up to me. You get what I'm saying? In a moment, you be wanting it, so you don't really know until you, you know, you move on and you be like, oh, I'm so happy I didn't, you know what I mean? So that's how I look at stuff now. If things don't pop off or if things don't go right or whatever, I just know that it wasn't my time or it wasn't for me. God got something else or God need me to fig figure something else out. You get what I'm saying? So instead of me thinking like, oh my God, it's me, it's the world. No, okay, it's not time or it's not meant for me right now. You get what I mean? Or God got some another vision for me. That's how it's, and, it's, and that's so much easier to deal with things like that than to think that you're the personal problem or to think that somebody else have control over, over your success or over your money or over your life. No, you and God is the only people that have control over your life. Now you got fuck people in your life that can help you, you know what I'm saying, by either showing you bad things or being a hater or this that, and the third but at the end of the day you are your own author well god is your author but you you get what i'm saying y'all get what the fuck i'm saying so i woke up this morning i heard the word the word was great actually i heard um joel osteen tyler perry was on there and he was doing his speech and i wanted to hear something like that because today was my first day of opening up the fire and i wanted to hear some inspirational on some business type shit and what he had to go through so i heard that it was very motivational he said um climb climb and pray climb and keep going climb and keep going don't stop um pray and worship Pray and worship, pray and worship, pray and worship, pray and worship. And that's all I've been doing, y'all. Praying and worshiping, praying and worshiping, praying and worshiping. Because I don't know what to do, and I'm not supposed to know what to do. That's the cool thing about it. See, I used to think that I had to know what to do. I used to think that it, I was all in this by myself, and I have to know what to do. I don't have to know nothing. God will direct me and talk to me and put people in place and put things in line and put things in order. Now, I'm not going to tell you that I'm not nervous a little bit about selling this food because I, it's my personality. I'm a very shy, content person. You know what I'm saying? To myself. So me going out, it's going to be very um, whatever. But I ask the Holy Spirit to help me with that. Holy Spirit, you give me the heart that I need to go. You bring people to me. Let me attract the people. You know what I'm saying? Holy Spirit, help me. You're my friend. You're my comforter. And he gonna do that. So anyways, you guys, leave me some comments down below. I have not forgot about you, um, uh, Jasmine, I think, or Jennifer or something like that. Okay, you guys, bye.